Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is a special vlog on how we celebrated our Easter this year. Like every year, this year too we went for Easter night vigil. It was a wonderful celebration in the church with Jesus' resurrection beautifully depicted. The youth in the church had taken lot of effort to recreate it. The mass went on till 1 am. Though we were all sleepy, we were equally excited to go back home and break the long 40 days fast. I had made my kids favorite menu which they had been planning a week before. Starting from crispy mutton cutlet, fish fingers and grilled chicken. I made this grilled chicken using Jamaican jerk rub. It was super easy with no compromise on taste and it became the star of the night. We had also bought a mango cake on my son's choice along with some easter eggs. It is a custom for the kids to break easter eggs and see what's inside. In our childhood, we used to get sugar coated easter eggs with small chocolate and candies inside. But nowadays, easter eggs are made of chocolate with nut coated chocolate inside. Kids enjoyed breaking these eggs. Initially they tried breaking with a spoon but as the coating was hard they really had to hit it hard. After breaking the easter eggs, the kids then cut the cake. They only had one small bite of the cake as they wanted to attack and knock out the food prepared. By now, the time was already 2 in the morning and the kids were calling this as the early breakfast. For the so called early breakfast, I had made typical Kerala style mutton stew for the bread along with cutlet, fish fingers and grilled chicken. We then decided to switch off the camera and enjoy our family time. Happy Easter! Happy Easter. Happy Easter. By the time we went to sleep, it was already 3.30 in the morning. On Easter morning, after wishing our parents and loved ones, I started off with our lunch preparation. I made my husband's favorite mutton pepper fry. The mutton was tender and the dish came out just as expected. I will share the link of the recipe video in the description below. Side by side, I was also making Chennai style chicken biryani. For any celebration, biryani is a must in our family. After putting the biryani for them, I started to fry the chicken. This is a proper street style chicken fry and I had marinated the chicken a day before. So my work became easier and the chicken also became juicier and tastier. 
Then I fried the remaining cutlets and the fish fingers as the kids really like them. I usually make these cutlets and deep freeze them for about 2 weeks and fry it whenever needed. I use it as a patty for my homemade burgers too. Normally, we don't boil eggs for the biryani, but since it's Easter, we had boiled eggs to make it complete. I had also made Kerala style chicken rose. It is a very simple and quick recipe, but it tastes awesome and it goes perfectly with the biryani. For any special occasions or celebration, be it veg or non veg, I always serve food in banana leaves. This brings back many childhood memories when me and my cousins along with my grandfather used to go out and cut the banana leaves to have food together. Today's kids are missing out these little pleasures of togetherness. We are just trying to bring these moments back so that our kids can also experience these little things of joy. Easter is a time of love, of family and of peace. It is a time when we say a quiet thanks for all that we have and for all that the future holds. Happy and blessed Easter to all our dear YouTube family. If you like such videos, please do subscribe and also hit the bell button for latest notifications. Many of our viewers are watching the video without subscribing to our channel. Please consider subscribing as it will keep us motivated to bring more interesting videos. See you soon in another video. Until then, be happy and stay healthy.